So AD Pico approached us and said, uh, can you present what it takes to build a new pricing and shopping engine? I said, sure. Uh, we have been living and breathing it from last three years. So why it's so complex to build a pricing and shopping engine, and this is AT Pico based shopping and pricing engine. There are several um, papers written on it that mathematically it's unsolvable. If you, if you try every schedule connections and every fair combination, it's unsolvable. But I'll keep it simple and throw in some numbers. So, if a person is flying, this is for you, Tom, Fargo. I'm keeping that tradition, Fargo. So if Tom is flying from Fargo to New Delhi, um, via Chicago and London Heathrow, nothing complex, right? Uh, double connection. To price this six segment itinerary, just price it. And to do slice and dice, I do all constructed fares, and then um, fare by rules, private fares, a system can approximately take 600,000 fares to find the cheapest solution. And each fare, as you know, can have hundreds if not thousands of rules attached to it. So this is just one simple itinerary. Now if you want to do shopping, 50 inbound flights, 50 outbound flights, that's 2,500 unique flight combinations. And you multiply that with 600,000, that's 1.5 billion fares. That's just for one shopping request, if you try to solve this traditionally. And again, each fare can have hundreds, if not thousands, of rules attached to it. And you have to do this in real time, because airlines' inventory availability can change every second. A typical large network airline files around 20 million published fares. This is including constructed fares, and which have rules attached to it. And then the CAT 25 fare by rule can explode that into several hundred more fares. And by the way, all this can change every hour. So to manage this kind of data in memory and keep changing it is not an easy thing to solve. So what it does to the airlines and the system? They struggle. They, some of them use a lot of cash. Um, some of them throw a lot of hardware at it to solve the problem. Um, deal with really high cost for looks to books. And the demand is even more doing Seven-day calendar shopping is common now. Um, airlines, more and more airlines are going for 30-day uh, calendar shopping. Uh, some of them are even saying, I want to know the cheapest fares for the whole year, right? On top of it, you have more pressing demands. And what's, what's driving these demands? Rise of meta engines. 10,000 to one look to book is norm. We all are talking about dynamic pricing. Um, all airlines are interested, and you heard Peter, you will keep hearing about dynamic pricing. NDC. With NDC, the volumes are going to go even more, five to tenfold more because all those transactions are going to come to airlines and airlines have to process them, those shopping transactions. So more demand. And the pace of innovation. 
Um, airlines wants to try out new ideas. Uh, they, they want to experiment. And that's not possible with community model. Uh, they don't want to share their ideas with other airlines, or they don't want to wait for 400 airlines to say yes to implement their ideas. Right? So there is more demand on top of a traditional shopping engine. So what does it take to build a next generation shopping engine, shopping and pricing engine? So you do need AT Pico. That's essential because it has its place. Not every airline is going to go try out different things. Uh, you have interline problems to solve, so AT Pico you need as a base. Everybody, every airline is going to take their own pace to move. So AT Pico is essential. And you do need a community model uh, and distribution model for all the airlines. So AT Pico is essential, but that's not good enough. You have to start with the base of ATP Cofair, but you need a platform which can now take that fare, but at the same time start consuming external data, whether that data is coming from social, propensity to buy, willingness to pay, we keep hearing it, or it's coming from Airline internal systems like load factor CRM, uh, airlines revenue management system. Uh, more and more revenue management systems are going to be uh, interactive, transactional based. And this data soon will be analyzed by machines to, to suggest uh, a markup or a markdown. And last but not the least, you need a comprehensive rules engine where you can put rules around all this data um, and experiment it or see um, to implement new ideas. And we at Fair Logics um, was had an advantage. We started fresh. Um, and thus, we were able to think out of the box and use algorithm, best technology to design and build the engine, which was able to do it all. So this is on the functional side. On the technical side, we keep hearing from people, it has to be fast. It has to be performant. Uh, should be able to support massive volume with no look to book limitations sub-second response time, and able to adjust offer in real time. This platform has to be in control of an airline uh, with an option for them to host so that they don't have to share even with their vendors what, what they are doing with it. Um, and linearly scalable because it should be able to handle large volumes which are going to come with NDCs and metas and so forth. With that, uh, we want to announce, like Tom said, uh, we are doing a pilot with uh, Sabre and AT Pico, where uh, Sabre is acting as a GDS and Fair Logics as a dynamic pricing engine. It's going extremely well. Uh, you will hear a lot more in detail from Richard, uh, from Sabre, um, how, they are, how they are designing it to come to a DP engine to process that offer. Um, and it was easy for us to turn it on because uh, from the dynamic pricing engine side, we have been uh, we have this functionality for over years. Uh, we, we have the AT Pico-based shopping engine recently, but the dynamic pricing engine, we had it for a while. 
And with that, uh, I'll close. Um, if you all are here tomorrow, whatever I said, you should be able to see it in action at Innovation Forum. Thank you.